Hi, it's Jill with Crickflix, and I am on a I am on a mission to. <laughs> I keep saying this every time I, I I go to film something. I'm on a mission to get a whole bunch of video done. Anyway, I'm working on numerous party favor projects, and so the videos that will be happening now. I don't know what happened. My phone just dinged. Oh. Anyway, um. There are numerous parties. Um, I'm sorry, Samantha and um, Kat, uh, Kat, what was the other? I can't think. Oh my gosh, I just lost it. I lost it. Brain dead. Um, I'm I'm not going to be doing any scrapbook pages right now. I've just I've got too many orders. All of a sudden, now that things are getting better on the side of the um, pandemic, people are back to having parties, and so I've been swamped. Uh, this little guy, and I don't think you can tell in the video as much. However, I will do a close-up when I take pictures. He's actually got blue eyes, and man, is he cute. Um, and he's got his little uh, cape on. I'm going to be doing glittering on that. I meant to grab my, my glitters that I was going to be using, which would be goldenrod. Goldenrod or sunflower? This is sunflower. I'm gonna use goldenrod. It's a little bit more gold and not so yellow. Yep, we're gonna use goldenrod. And oh, just punched my finger. Um, let's see. I think I'm gonna use a little bit of a cranberry because this isn't a true red here. Uh, so I don't want to make it a bright red. We're gonna use this. I'm not gonna do a ton of of glittering. I'm going to concentrate more on. He's got a little fur collar on his cape here. And I've seen these a lot back, not something anybody uses now. Reminds me of a Dalmatian. I don't know where to get this, so I made my own. And I'm gonna show you how I did that. Let's put them together first. This is a 15 inch piece. No, let's not put them together first. Bad choice. I want to use these golden, these gold colored brads in, in his crown. Um, up here, there's two circles. So I'm using my weeding tool for my for my um, um, vinyl and poking holes in here. And I almost forgot, and they have to go in before I put the two pieces together or I can't put them on. Then what you do when you make that mistake, you use um, glue on crystals or... There's different things you can use. It looks like it's just a tad bit long in there, but maybe I have to. I know what I'll do. I'll clip it off. It's a little bit longer than the area I have there. Um, sometimes it's really, really hard to make some of these pieces um, a little smaller because when you're starting to add your your accents, sometimes I just don't have enough room. This particular one, I'm going to try and clip it. It worked. There. Now it's not sticking out. Now i got to do that four times because that's how many there are between the front and the back. Um, these are flipped images. And everybody's aware of that. I'm going to start out by saying, because uh, it's been a while and I have a lot of new viewers, and I simply do not have the time. I have no time to spare. That's one of the reasons I forget as much as I do, it isn't because I'm going dumb. It's because, and it's not my age or anything. I keep myself very, very, very busy. It's more because I have so much on my plate. And then I start to think, oh, I got to do this. I got to do this. I gotta, and then I screw everything up. So I need to try and stay focused on what's at hand here. That's this little guy right now. But, seeing I already forgot what I was <laughs> starting to tell you. Latrice, I'm sure you've just got a whole lot of faith in me right now. Um... And I've been having an issue on uploading my videos. I use my phone to tape, to re record, because it I, it's super easy for me. And I use my watch to turn it on and off, which is even easier for me. Uh, I used to get up and stand up and run over and turn it on and off and use the cameras. But nowadays, your phone's got better pixel burn than, than the cameras. And I am not investing in a... a camera on top of all the other things I've invested in because I don't foresee 
I would ever, um, I don't know how long, I don't know how long I'll be doing this. I told my husband last night, I love, I love what I do. And I think, how long more realistically will I be able to do it? And I thought, you know what? I saw a lady on America's Got Talent or Britain's Got Talent or something. She was like 80 some years old and she was a pole dancer. But my God in heaven, unbelievable. This woman, um, she was, she, I, I, I admired her for the strength and the, you know, and here I'm sitting and moaning and groaning about something that I sit on my butt and do. Um, so I'm using that lady as my, my role model. Because if she can pole dance at 80 some years old, um, I can barely hold on to a pole, let alone dance around it. Lordy, lordy. I do do my biking every day and the weather's getting nice. So I will start doing my trampolining, um, which really helps with me staying steady on my feet. Because I fall a lot and the older I get, it's not a good thing to fall. Okay. I jabber between when I'm doing something because I already told you what I was going to do and I don't need to keep you in silence while I, while I put it together. Um, and I got a, uh, I had a story to tell and I said, oh, oh yeah, yesterday, um, my husband and I take care of our grandkids and it, we have two, uh, two-year-old granddaughter, Mila, who anybody that follows me and is friends on Facebook knows Mila. Um, Bunny's kid, um, just absolutely the, she just turned two in January, but she's got the, the, the mind of a 10 year old. I mean, the things that come out of her mouth, um, she's just unbelievable. So her and I were out at my husband's workshop and he had the music blasting. Um, and so I decided to dance with Mila. So we held hands and danced and just danced around and you know, she loves that. And then we were going in circles, and speaking of balance, going in circle and an old lady dizzy, not a good mix. But anyway, I stayed pretty steadfast. I didn't fall over or anything like that. But I was, we were going around cir circles and I would swing her through the air with the feet up off the ground and she'd just giggle and, and laugh. She just loved it. And then I, when I needed to rest from spinning in circles so that I didn't spin myself to unconsciousness, I would swing her from side to side behind me. So I had a hold of her hands. And I was swinging her this way. And then I'd bring her all the way around front and swing her that way. Great upper body exercise. However, I hurt her. Oh, I felt awful. So I called my daughter and I told her because Mila never, never cries. I mean, if she falls down, I've never seen a kid fall as much as her and not say boo. She just does not cry. By the way, I have Christmas cord here. It is from Hobby Lobby. It is an awesome place to go after the holidays. You can get all this stuff on sale for pennies. And before the holidays, if you need it, 99% of the time, it's 50% off or 40% off or coupon. I don't know why they don't just price it accordingly since they have it constant, constant sales. But anyway, um, my my granddaughter kept crying and my, my husband was like, you, we need to take her to urgent care. And I said, no, mommy and daddy need to take her to urgent care because um, we didn't have, just in case, this because this happened to me with my niece. I know I'm not a bad babysitter, but when I was taking care of my niece when she was one, she fell off a chair onto a radiator and split her head open and needed stitches. But I had to call my mother from out of town to come there to take her because I didn't have the permission. Um, I guess an emergency, I don't know. I, I, you know, that was 40 some years ago. Man, I can't believe my kids are in their 40s and pushing 50s, unbelievable. But um, anyway, uh, my daughter has a, four-year-old boy that he they he gets his elbow dislocated pretty frequently not I should say frequently but you know with kids you, you swing around they swing around and once they do that um I think I'm gonna put two on here guys just because I like twice as much work um my my daughter called me and said bring her over here and let me because I know how to reset the elbow because she has to do it to her son and my son-in-law said uh-uh She'll go in the emergency room. I'm not taking her, you know, I, we don't know what it is and, and whatever. And I get it. I probably would have said the same thing. 
However, my other daughter, the mom of my granddaughter that I hurt, uh, didn't want to go to the emergency room because of uh, uh, exposure to COVID. And you never know when you're there with a bunch of sick people. Anyway, she ended up taking her to the children's hospital, which is what they said she should go to any anyway. That was where she was treated when she had leukemia. And my daughter felt much more comfortable with that. And sure enough, her elbow was dislocated. And so they snapped back in place. But she still won't use that arm. And they FaceTimed me this morning, and she will not use that arm um, or hand. She just carries it close to her side. So I'm thinking either it's still sore. However, my little grandson said, no, once I do that, I can't feel anything. Or that she might, I might have also dislocated her shoulder. And I told my daughter, if she continues to favor it like that, then you really need to, to take her into her doctor. Um, not back into urgent care because she's not crying, but she won't lift her arm up. And I had fallen out of the back of a car, not moving, and dislocated my shoulder when I was a little kid. And I remember it didn't hurt. I just had to, I would always take my, this hand and push my arm out when I went to reach for something because my father had noticed I wasn't using my arm. So it was my shoulder. And I just keep thinking, Mila won't, she could have hurt her shoulder too. And I called this morning and to, to see how she was doing and thinking, oh my God, I cannot believe I hurt my Mila. I felt awful. I've been taking care of my grandkids now for 12 years because I take care of taking care of all of them. And I've had two issues where they've gotten hurt or cut or whatever, just anything. I always tell my kids, I tease them and have them say, that didn't happen on my clock. But one was my grandson. I don't know what he was doing. I can't remember. He was in the pool and he had goggles on and he bumped heads with one of the other kids. I think it was, but anyway, the goggle jammed right into his head and had, they had to take him in to get stitches in his forehead. And now my granddaughter ends up at mer urgent care because I dislocated her elbow. So um, guys, I may lose, <laughs> I may end up losing sitting privileges. <laughs> I, I felt horrible. However, my daughter said to me, it can happen to anybody. You know, I was dancing with her. At least I wasn't neglecting her where she'd fallen down the stairs or something. But um, uh, I won't swing her by her arms again. Any, and, and I FaceTimed her this morning. All I kept thinking is, oh, I hope she's not mad at me, looking at me like, yeah, you beg. You look what you did to me. But she didn't. She talked to me and she told me she loved me. So it's all good. I don't like it though, even so. Now I'm using my golden rod on this crown to do the finishing touches. And I'm thinking the added uh, bit of this cord. Now, what I did is when I glued it on, I hung about a half an inch off of the edge. And the reason I did that is because this unravels. And if I started at the very end, this would be unraveled. If I pull it out about a half an inch, once I get it glued down, I can glue it all the way to the edge and clip it off, and this isn't going to unravel. So that is why I did it that way. I learn something new every day. Problem is, I forget it by tomorrow. But for a day, I would. Okay, then what I did, I don't have any of this fur. However, I have a lot of fake fur. I took and I cut out fake fur. And it was really long because it's regular, the full fur that you can buy in strips like at Hobby Lobby. And I don't have any sitting right here. It's pretty long. So I cut them out and then I pulled all the fur upright and then cut it off so that it wasn't so long. Then I went and used my Nouveau crystal. It's called crystal drops. It's like um, liquid pearls. And I put black drops all over the fur. Because I wanted to make it look like that collar. And I'm loving it. So I didn't make it for both sides because I don't want to cover up his hand. His hand there is just too cute. I can't cover the hand up. So there we go. That is to accent that piece of the robe, okay? Um, now what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take the little crystal pearls. And I'm going to, on the other side, it looks like it has the fur. What I'm going to do is just add where the dots are 
you can't hardly see them. So I'm just going to add them so it kind of brings them together. You'll know what I mean when I do pictures. I don't want to hold them up right now because his eyes are watering with um, my glossy accents. Um, again, I get asked questions again and again. I don't expect anybody to go back and look at all my videos and try and catch up on all the things that I've said over the years. So I'll repeat and repeat. Um, it's the only way I'll remember too is I have to repeat it. Glossy Accents by Ranger, Hobby Lobby, um, Michaels, Joy and Fabric, online, Amazon, my best friend. I get everything on Amazon. This stuff is what I use in eyes. Anything that I want to pop out, I use the Glossy Accents because there's sometimes when I'm working on a piece, there isn't a lot of, uh, of wiggle room for ex, you know, for um, embellishing. There's sometimes they're really simple and there's not a lot you can do. So what I do with those pieces is I use the glossy accent to bring out the best, uh, pick out parts so they pop out. Because because they're really on. I can't think of anything offhand. However, there are things that just there's nowhere to embellish. And I don't want to overdo it on him because I want his accent. I, mean, I want him to really stand out with his. He's got blue eyes. I think I already said that. I know I already said that. But he's so freaking cute. Cute, cute, cute. So I'm going to add some of this red. But again, I don't want to overdo it. I'm just going to use it as an accent. So it's going to be just kind of here and there. Not a solid. Um, it doesn't need to be a solid. I am going to outline his little diaper and the inside of his cape. Oh, this little guy is so cute. He's my first on this particular uh, Divine Digital Deal, Divine Digital Diva. Um, these are her files. I've been working with her for years. Um, I have her do all my files. I just dropped that on there. I'm terribly, terribly sorry if you're watching my video right now. I didn't mean to do that. But no harm done because I just put it on there. So I'll just fix it. Okay. Um, Divine Digital Diva on Etsy is where I get the files. Uh, there goes my ah. Uh. Um, what do I want to put on? I want to put something else on. I just need a little bit more of an accent. So I'm going to use some of my stickles in Sienna. And I'm not going to do a lot. I'm just going to outline his arm a little bit. Very, very, very lightly with the glitter. I'm barely squeezing the tube. I do not want a really heavy. I just want to have the arm stick out just a little bit. So when you do something like that, you want really, really light your glitter. You need to make sure that the bottle you're using is brand new, pretty brand new, and has a good flow to it. If you use a bottle of stickles and you want to go really fine and you get the spit, you know, when you're, it, it gets like an air pocket or whatever, I call it spit, but it, to me, spits at me. Um, and that black pearl had not dried yet, so I got that on there. So I'm going to take my little tool here and scrape that off and again I forgot too to tell you that the um, Nuvo glitters and and um, liquid pearls or their their drops they don't dry as quickly as the stickles however for certain things I like them better than the stickles one of the things that I liked is the is the pearl drops I like better on the Nuvo than I do on the Stickles. Stickles has some solid, or Liquid Pearls that you, you that's called Liquid Pearls. I can't think of who makes it, but um, I like the Nuvos for that. It's just that they do take longer to dry, a lot longer. It actually says in there, you're supposed to let them dry for 24 hours. Well, I don't ever have 24 hours. So I've never waited that long and I've never run into a problem and hope never to run into a problem. But I think what I'm going to do, 
So I'm going to add a little bit of gold outlining. Not the whole thing, just a little bit. And one thing is, is if I'm doing this, sometimes I forget what I do with one, one from one to the next. It, they don't always have to be identical. You know, when you're doing a bunch of pieces at once, they don't have to be identical. None of us are identical. Why do they have to be? So when you're glittering it, don't waste your time looking at one you already glittered. Just, just do it. You'll spend too much time overthinking it. And those that order pieces to be custom made, uh, they are made by hand. So there will be imperfections, um, things that they're, they're, they're handmade. So I, I've had, um, I've had somebody ask me or say something regarding, you know, certain things about the way the pieces look. Screw <laughs> that on there. That'll work real well. Anyway, they're handmade and they will look, I want them to look handmade. I do not want them to look store-bought. I want them to look custom. There we have the first one done. Since I have eight of these to do, I'm going to, he's going to stand. Oh, guys, that was a close one. Somebody there was catching it for me. Um, these are the stands that he's going to go on, uh, which will lift him up an additional four inches. And I probably shouldn't even stand him. No, he's going to, he's going to drip. His eyes are going to drip. I don't want to do that. I'm going to have to set him down. Again, that's the first one. Let's do one more. And then I'll call it quits on this guy because I have quite a few things to cover here. I got a circus theme going on. I've got a Looney Tunes baby reveal going on. I've got a pebble or a, a Flintstones going on and uh, some watercolor animals. I'm just kind of giving the idea because I've been printing. My my printer's actually taking a rest right now. I've over, I've overprinted. I've been printing so much lately. But and the printer that somebody asked me, everybody asked me, is the Epson um, EcoTank printer. Uh, I do not. Ever since I used the EcoTank, I purchased three of them so that my daughters had them when they needed to work. Uh, it is it is a far more expensive than the other printer. Um, the 7510, I believe, I can't remember the name of it. The EcoTank is 16500 Epson wide bed. People ask me how I make my pieces so big. I make them big because I have a printer that makes them big. And perfect. I mean, the Epson, I think, is awesome. Uh, my favorite printer, and I've tried numerous, numerous different printers over the years, and it's been quite a quite a few years since I discovered the 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 Epson, and I love it. But I love the Eco Tank because the, the 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 ink is so inexpensive in comparison to buying the cartridges. Fill in the tanks. You buy bottles of paint and fill the tanks. Awesome, and I very rarely have to fill fill them. Very rarely. So. We're gonna do one more here, guys, so you can, you know what I just did? Nobody hollered at me. I just put that together and forgot to put the brads in. So I caught it before I had time to really mess it up and I didn't glue the top yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and poke the holes in here. Because once I glue these together, I can't I can't put the brads in because I would it would show the the, the fold on that, I mean, it would show the little bracket that you're bending for the obvious reasons. And, oh, I had to change my rug out in here because I, anything dropped, I couldn't see it. The, there was too much color in my rug. So I had to change it out to a solid color so I can see things when I drop them. So that tells me that I must drop a lot. You know what I'm gonna do in this one? which I could have done on the other one. I'm going to fold the brad over. I'm not gonna fold it open, I'm gonna fold it back. Once I can get a hold of it and keep a hold of it, I will. <sighs> My chair doesn't roll very good anymore either on the rug. So I'm always 
falling, <laughs> falling off the edge of it when I'm rolling around. I have to keep scooting back. Okay, there we go. That real light sticking out. So I'm going to take my weeding tool and make that thing stick in where it belongs. There you go. There. Got it. Okay, now I got to the other side. I didn't put anything on them yet. Good for that. So I didn't ruin it. I caught it in time. Which always isn't the case. Okay. But I'm telling you, the only the other thing that you can do is if you forget, like I just about did here, um, is cut clip the edge of the bread off and just hot glue it to your image. This one's standing off here. It's not in the middle. So let me move it over. And again, I'll be hot gluing these together, so I'm not going to have to worry about them sliding around. I just need to make sure they're not in the wrong position when I glue them down. I guess and not having nails <laughs> is making it really hard for me to grab things. My daughter asked me the other day if I was going to start going back getting my nails done again. I don't have time. Don't have time for that. I've been working out every uh, um, every night and every other night doing my sauna therapy. And I told my husband, it's really cutting into my work. I don't have time for it because it takes me two and a half hours. Um, and when I get up in the morning, I'll go, oh, oh it's not workout night. It's not. I don't have to do that tonight. I make myself because it's supposed to be very, very, very good for detoxing the sauna and it, we got it because we heard that it was great for people with um, onset or history of dementia in the family. So I justified it because of my mother having dementia and praying to God that I never ever that I could keep it under control. So uh, lots of exercise, lots of work, lots of work and taking care of grandkids and doing while I exercise and do my biking, I do puzzles and uh, I have an iPad, but I sit and do all sorts of stuff that you have to be thinking. So um, guys, so far the forgetting what words are for things when I'm doing, doing a YouTube and what I'm taking something and I say something wrong, I should use the wrong word or whatever. Uh, that has nothing to do with the dementia. That just has to do with I'm getting old. And that is what happens. My husband has it and my brother-in-law, we all get together between the three of us. We'll be lucky if we can remember one sentence. But the good thing is, is we, are, we laugh at it. We're totally okay. It's all good. Because overall, my health is great. My mind is iffy. But I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. And I really want to get a lot of videos done. Because I get quite a bit of people me messaging me. And, and I'm neglecting my followers here. Okay. Now I'm going to do the second row with this and again watch I'm taking the end I'm putting my um, hot glue very 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 thin sometimes if you see a little dot of glue that that dripped off if you have to take it off just be super super careful because you'll rip the color of your print off and if it looks like it's it's pretty pretty flat where it's dripped there's it's because they can be laying flat um, don't take it off at all figure out an innovative way to cover it with glitter or some sort of texture or something but don't try and take it off because you will you will take off the print these are not solid core paper they're printed and the the hot glue if you try and peel it off you'll peel off the paint the uh, ink and then you're in a worse position because you've got to <laughs> figure out how to fix it. Especially if it's in the middle of a face. You can't. What you do, guys, is if you're making something like this and you were to have an accident and, and, and drop 
like let's say glitter or hot glue or something on a face, you cannot peel it off. You can't. It will take the color off and it'll stand out like a sore thumb because it's right in the middle of his face. There's no way of covering it with like magic marker or anything like that. If it comes, if you peel it off, um, that's what's going to happen. What I do, if I have one that something drips on it like that, what I do is I cut out the head. Um, I don't I do not do anything with the, the embellishments or anything until I cut the head off of another one. And then I double side tape and I tape right over it. Um, you just have to make sure you cut across the lines. In this particular case, it wouldn't matter. You could cut underneath this fur and around, um, kind of going down and keeping the fur on his face and cut up this way. When you put the face on, this piece of fur is going to cover up the fur that you cut out. So it's not even going to show. That would be how my, that would be how I would fix if I drop hot glue right in the middle of an image. And it happens a lot. Um, my husband usually ca catches it when he's packing for shipping. And um, he's my quality, quality control guy. So he looks everything over before it gets shipped out to make sure front and backs match. You know, I'll forget some brads or something. And he just makes sure everything looks like it goes right. And he will catch the glue in the face. And then I will put the face out and fix it. It's nicer to catch it before it's ready to ship because it's. I like to catch it before it's embellished. Okay, there we got the gold on his crown, the brads at the top. I think what I'm going to do with the next ones, guys, is I think that I'm going to um, put all the brads in all of them that I have to do before I start putting them together. Because I'm going to forget again. That's just the way it is. I'm going to forget. So, um, and I, I have not figured out a way to keep my glossy from not clogging the tip because any of that glossy that's in there when you're done dries in the tip and then it's all clogged up then when you shove something down like a pin to get that clog out the clog falls into the into the liquid and then eventually we'll clog it again um so what i do is i get a stainless steel pin i get them um hobby lobby or joy and fabrics um or michael's i don't know if michael's carries them I would say Hobby Lobby or Joint Fabric. And they got the little dot on the top. I get those in stainless steel. If you don't use stainless steel and just use any pin, it'll rust. And it'll rust in the tip of your, your glue. And this will all be full of rusted um, product. And, it, and it's really, it, it'll come out rusted. And then you gotta squeeze it and get it out and make sure it's clean. So just, just a little tip that you're better off getting one of those and just leaving it in there because it will it will clog up it's inevitable it's just the nature of the beast just like these clog my stickles if you didn't met, see the most recent or one of the recent lord knows how recent um videos i was talking about the stickles and having such an issue with them clogging the thing that I do now is if I have a color that um, the nozzle is, is working perfect, I, when that is gone, I save that bottle. And the reason I save it is because I use the tip off of it if I get one that I can't seem to unclog, which happens a lot. I switch the tips out and it works perfect for me. Then I don't have any problems with it. So I don't know why that would be because I wouldn't think that that would make a hill of beans a difference, but it does. So that is my solution. And so I have a little pile of empty stickles, and I leave the lids on because my little dry up. So I need to make sure I leave them when I put them away. I leave the, the lids on, the empty bottles, and I just have a place that I put them. And if I get one of the clogs, I grab the tip off of one of the empty bottles. I switch it out if it's a different color. I squeeze... Um, I squeeze the the stickles into a sheet of paper or whatever until the, the tip is clean of the color. Um, you know, if you're using a different color, then, then if you're using a different color, if your bottle's a different color than what 
tip you're using. That's how I do it. And it saves me a lot of headaches. That's something newer I just figured out. Some might think that nah, that wouldn't work, whatever. It works for me, perfect. So that's a pretty simple solution. Um, trying to remember to kind of have these match at least. And no, I'm not gonna do all eight of them. I will, I will do one of these videos and then I'm going to move on to probably the circus videos because I got a lot of those to do. That one's uh, eight centerpieces. I'm doing a, um, a tent, what's it called? A circus tent and uh, a lion and uh, clowns and cotton candy ice cream. I think I got ice cream on there. I don't know. I think there's eight two foot centerpieces, um, large popcorn boxes that I make using a form of, uh, I use the actual uh, cricket cartridge to make these popcorn boxes. And what I did is when I used to have the software, uh, I can't even remember what it's called anymore, they used to have a software that it was awesome and I would go in there and I would put my design together on the mat and color it and then I would do a screenshot of it and use that to make the template for a lot of things, which I thought, you know what? I have bought hundreds of their, their uh, cartridges and uh, machines. I think at one point I had like 13 of them because remember, I got two daughters that work for me, and you always have to have a backup machine because if I've got something that's got to go out, the last thing I need that whatever's going out isn't my machine. Okay, there we go. There's guy number two. And I will finish these off, and the like I said, the next video will be on um, circus. I almost forgot. Thank you for watching, and guys, I'm sorry for any stuttering that may have gone on, and I'm working on it. Have a great weekend and be safe.